Hi, this is Kira from the Disney Dish, and today I have with me one of my best friends, Holly. She's a Disney food fan just like me, and today she's going to help me taste some recipes. And I'm Donna with the Disney Dish. If you've been to our channel before, then you know that we love to make Disney recipes that we can make at home, and we want to show you how to. It's our family's way of celebrating the magic of Disney even when we can't be there. Today we're doing something special. We are making two different Disney recipes from two different Disney restaurants, and these recipes go great together, like bread and butter. Or maybe I should say cornbread from Hoop De Doo Review and the honey butter from the Garden Grill. Our first stop is over at the Hoop De Doo Review at Fort Wilderness Campground in Disney World. Be sure you stay tuned to the end of the video and we're going to give you some extra information about the Hoop De Doo Review. If you're on the Disney Dining Plan on your next trip, you'll want to know. This dinner show has been around for well over 40 years. I'm going to let Kira take over and tell you more. The style of this dinner show is all you care to eat southern cooking. With lots of fried chicken, mashed potatoes, baked beans, and this delicious cornbread that we're making today. I forgot to mention this delicious strawberry shortcake dessert that they make. We have a video for this recipe too, so be sure to check that out. The style of the show is a fun, silly song and dance show that's set in the time of the early American pioneers. I went to Hoop to Do Review when I was probably 10 years old, and we went with this big group of people, probably 15 people, and at the end of the show, they bring a guest up and like put them in like a little fairy wings and a tutu and a little wand and it wound up being somebody that we um, that we came to dinner with so that was definitely a big memory. You said that you go that each time you've been to Disney you've been to do. Yes my parents started taking me because I love country music and the whole comedy skit is very country western theme so it became one of my favorite experiences and my parents just knew that they had to keep taking me. It's my, it's one of my favorite things. What about the food do you like there? Do you remember eating the cornbread? Yeah, nice and thick, it's buttery, it's, it's very homey, you know, like your grandma made it. So let's get started. For the cornbread, we're going to get started by mixing our dry ingredients. That's one and three quarters cups of flour, one and a quarter cups of sugar, three quarters of a cup of cornmeal, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and one tablespoon of baking powder. We're going to mix that together and set that aside. In a separate bowl, we're going to combine two eggs, one cup of milk, and one half cup of vegetable oil. Pour the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients and gently mix this together. You don't want to over mix this or it's going to get tough. Grease a 9 by 13 baking pan and pour in your batter. Bake this in a 375 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. You'll know it's done when a toothpick comes out clean. Let this cool for about 10 minutes before you remove it from the pan so it doesn't break. I highly recommend serving this warm. While that's cooling, let's head over to the land for some honey butter. Garden Grill is a family-style restaurant in Epcot's Future World. They serve big plates of food that you pass around the table. It's a character restaurant with Chip and Dale and a lot of your other favorite characters. As you're enjoying dinner, the scenery around you will change from a jungle to a desert to a little farmhouse. The scenery changes because the restaurant floor is very slowly rotating. It's the same scenery from the ride Living with the Land that's on the bottom floor. The next time you're on Living with the Land, once you get to the little farmhouse, take a look up. Part of that ride features some beautiful gardens. These gardens provide a lot of food for this restaurant and others. 
Speaking of providing food, Disney grows thousands of pounds of its own food on property every year. Let's get back to cooking. One of my favorite things that they serve at the Garden Grill in Epcot is this delicious honey butter. It's so soft and sweet and amazing on the rolls that they serve. To make the honey butter is a very simple recipe. The orange blossom comes in with the orange blossom honey, but you can use whatever honey you'd like. To make this honey butter recipe, start with two sticks of unsalted softened butter. I'm using Kerrygold, that's my favorite. Add three quarters of a tablespoon of fresh lemon zest, a pinch of salt just to taste, and three tablespoons of whatever honey you choose. Whip that together by hand or with an electric mixer until it's fluffy. You can serve this at room temperature just like this or store it in an airtight container in the refrigerator until you're ready to use it. So you made both of these from scratch? Mm -hmm. All this from scratch? Mm -hmm. And the butter? Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, I didn't turn the butter myself. Well, you didn't. <laughs> I'm not above that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like it's from the Hoop Dee Doo review and I am super excited because this is, I, I can feel it that it's gonna, it, I can feel it. It's gonna taste just like, it. I can feel it. Yeah, can feel it. I can feel the nostalgia already. <laughs> I can see them up, up on stage. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's really good. That is. That's really good. Now we have to tell them oh, no. from the land that they need to send this butter over to Fort Wilderness. Mm -hmm. That's what we need to do. So the original recipe for the honey butter calls for this Citro Pearl, which is this dehydrated zest, but it's really not accessible to the home cook. So I just substituted the real thing and used real lemon zest. And it is so good. I never would have thought that lemon and corn would go so well together. Mm -hmm. Mom, you gotta try this. It's really that good? Mom. We're... No, it really is. It's so good. The lemon and the... What's that? Honey butter. butter. The lemon really does it. Mm -hmm. Is that not so good? Mm -hmm. This is so moist. You don't even need a drink to go with this. This is great. I was not planning to have um, a clean plate club here today. Guys, I'm just a little, a little bit, have a little taste, be good to go. But, uh -huh. it is really great. Obviously, this recipe was a big hit, especially combining the two. We hope you give it a try and like it as much as we did. Before you leave our video, please give us a thumbs up. It's really important for us to know if you liked our videos. And actually, please leave us a comment. Let us know if you like hearing all this information about the resorts and the restaurants and the parks, or if you just want us to get to the recipes. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can be notified of our newest Disney recipes that you can make at home. And here's that bonus hoop to do review information I mentioned earlier. If you are using the dining plan to go to this dinner, you'll be seated in either category two or category three. It can't be used for category one, which is sitting closer to the stage, but you still get a great view everywhere. This is two dining credits, so this means it takes two table service credits if you're using a Disney dining plan. They have multiple shows every night, so they have to go through a lot of food. Every night they go through 900 pounds of chicken, 400 pounds of pork ribs, and they go through hundreds of these legendary strawberry shortcakes that I'll cover in another video. You'll find this recipe and more at our website, thedisneydish.com. See you real soon. Be sure to like and subscribe for more recipes and videos.